Hi. Today we are going to see the SAP customer service overview. So SAP customer service is one of the main module in SAP, which is used to handle all kind of customer service activities which is conducted across the various business uh, verticals. So let's look at uh, just an overview about it and uh, in continuing other episodes we will have the details how to be executed and different business scenarios and how to handle and all those things will be covered so let's start so this is a definition about customer service overview uh, customer service is the direct one-on-one -on -one interaction between a consumer making a purchase and a representative of the company that is selling it. Most retailers see this direct interaction as a critical factor in ensuring buyer satisfaction and encouraging repeat business. So basically, customer service is an important factor uh, where they need to give an after sale service. That is the most of the, you know, you know the, uh, the from the SAP perspective, the after sale services are covered in, in the customer service, whereas the direct sales and all those things are covered in uh, under SAP sales and distribution model. But when the customer service module comes from after sales, so when the items are sold from the uh, division or from the company, then the whatever the after sales service need to be given for that a particular product or a particular uh, service, then that is considered as a customer service. And there is something different, you know, between customer service and customer support. A customer support is a range of customer service to assist customers in making cost effective and correct use of a product. It includes assistance in planning, installation, training, troubleshooting, maintenance, upgrading, and disposal of a product. So when you consider this, you know, from the SAP perspective, yes, SAP perspective, customer support is actually is the covering the customer service. Whereas uh, when a business perspective or from the definition perspective, customer service is uh, something which includes part of the sales as well. The sales activities, which is also comes under the customer service, whatever, you know, different sales activities, which is giving, giving a support to the customer also considered as customer service. But when you see from the SAP module perspective, uh, customer service is basically considering the customer support activities, uh, such as the installations, uh, training, you know, troubleshooting, and maintenance and upgrading and a disposal of a product and extra. So why customer service is important, you know, uh, that is also very important to know the, you know, you see the importance of the module which we are talking about. Uh, as per the statistics, only 3% of the customers are completely happy. So whenever you have 100 customers, only three customers are completely happy for the product or for the service which is received from a company. So what happens, the rest of the 97%, that is very dangerous, right? So poor customer service experience is costly because 80% uh, of customer, unhappy customer, switch to a competitor. So for example, if you uh, delivered a product and you don't give a proper service to it, then what happens, the customer won't buy anything for the same brand or for, from the same company, they will go to a competitor. Similarly, the 62% of a customer escalate to a supervisor because what they do, if they don't get a service then they will give to the escalate to the system, then what happens, it will create a lot of issues in between the employee and the, you know, the name and goodwill of the company and all those things get spoiled uh, if it is a poor customer service. Similarly, the 50% of customers share their negative experiences. Nowadays, you know, the, uh, social media era so it's very easy for any customer to put a negative uh, comment against any product or any service which are provided by any company so nowadays even the uh, online selling or you can see the portals and all those things it's very easy to give the customer review and even if anybody is going to buy anything first things what we do is to look at the comments and what is the feedback if the uh, feedback is good then only people are going to buy it so basically the customer service is very important at, in order to you know uh, increase the sale or run the business now let us look at it from the sap perspective so sap cs process or sap cs module process is this is a you know you know say bird's eye view so basically here uh, there is two part partners or you can say two parties are there one is customer 
the another one is service provider and there will be one more part is maybe involved as a vendor to the service provider so basically uh, there will be an outline agreement between the service provider and with the customer so what happens here the outline agreement uh, comes when you talking about an amc contract or annual maintenance contract and all those things the service provider will provide then customer will have a contract but there is another condition comes here for example when you buy a product there will be a certain warranty will be there so for example one year warranty or two year warranty depends on that one so there is also a kind of agreement that will be there within the warranty period also if anything happens it will be repaired and all those things so there will be an agreement between the customer and the service provider and the what had the what in that at the customer side you know when you considering from the sap perspective there is two things will be there one is a technical object so technical object when you see talk about from the sap perspective it's a master data so either it can be a functional location or it can be an equipment so the customer location will be identified as a functional location and there will be an equipment will be installed on it so there is a technical object will be there then also there will be a contact person it will be a partner the contact person whom to be contacted for that particular place that will be there at the contact person and when you look at from the service provider perspective there will be an organization structure will be there so what will be the plan planning plan maintenance plan and all those kind of you know organizational structure will be created and what is the work center who will be going then there will be a you know, resources will be there also resources can be either can be machine or it can be it's a tool or it can be a person and our employee or can be supervisor so all those kind of resources will be there again uh, there will be a vendor for example uh, in case there is some additional services which may not belongs to the service provider then that uh, that will be normally obtained from a vendor so there will be a you know there is a purchasing agreement between the vendor will be there so they will be providing a service for that repairing services so the process overall process look like you know there will be a requirement a requirement or a request normally customer will raise a request or a requirement or uh, when there is a, a issue identified so it's like an issue is there is some product is not working then customer will raise a request then the service provider will provide a quotation in case there is no agreed contract is not there maybe the outline agreement is maybe it is based on a case to cases there will be they will provide a service for two years and it will be quoted for that then sometimes what happened that uh, there is some parts is missing then you need to provide some kind of uh, uh, material extra which is not covered under warranty then also you need to provide a quotation so uh, service provider will be quotation then the customer will give a confirmation it might be a purchase order so there will be purchase order will be given from the customer side to the service provider then once the order is confirmed once the quotation is confirmed then the service provider will do a planning uh, so the the planning comes as a order will be created then the planning will be done then that work will be executed based on the planning and once the work is done they will complete the work there will be completion uh, then after that the service provider will send an invoice to the customer for that uh, quotation and for that amount which they agreed sometimes there may be you know the flexibility there is a, is a 10 percent extra is there you can pay extra those kind of agreement will be there so based on that one is there or maybe the agreement is will be like you know whatever the resource and material is used you can bill it in that case they will send the invoice based on that one then once they send the invoice then customer will do make a payment again there will be payment terms will be there maybe immediate payment or maybe after 30 days 60 days whatever is it however that payment will pay to the service provider so this is how the pro cycle will run in a cs process but in between there will be service provider and vendor relationship is there so some repairing request which came from the customer then there may be uh, that may not uh, the service provider cannot alone execute but then in that case they will give an order to a vendor then vendor will take care of it you know then they will be a purchase order will be given for a service order to the vendor and there will be an invoicing service and receipt and all those kind of things will be also there is an mm cycle will be happening there so this is how in a nutshell about the sap cs process now let us look at the next slide these are the main functions so cs you know customer service main functions so there are many functions so these are the main functions one is technical serviceable items so technical serviceable items again these are the product or we can say the machines which is lying at the customer side or where the, where you need to do a service so most of the time it can be considered as a 
uh, master data. So it will be in terms of master data terms, it is called as a functional location and uh, equipment. These are the two master data. Again, there will be classifications and characteristics attached to the equipment will be there. So these are the technical serviceable items. Then when it comes to the next uh, function is the service processing. Then service processing involves there is you know different objects. One is service notifications. So normally any issues identified or requirement is came or request is came that will be created as a notification. Then there is a planning stage which will be covered through a service order. So it will be a maintenance order. We can say service order and it comes CS perspective. Then again this CS or service order will be based on the cost that is accumulated on the order. Then there will be sales order will be created. So for the billing purpose so then to the customer. So that will be a sales order will be there then under the sales order based on the sales order there will be an invoice or billing will be done and that invoice will be sent customers so or billing is another object then that is another function comes under the cs then there is a service agreement so different type of contracts will be there between the uh, customer and service provider uh, so there will be a contract so either it can be you know uh, lump sum contract or it can be time and material so different type of contracts will be there so different uh, there is an agreement which will be between the service uh, provider and customer will be there then another type of agreement is a warranty so this comes along with the sale so whenever the product is sold then they will come up with a warranty saying that this will be in, in within two year or within one year anything happened so all the repairing will be taken care by the service providers and uh, will not charge anything. Uh, maybe so that will be one thing, then there will be some kind of will be there. Only the service charges or you can say labor cost will be free during the warranty period. If any parts is broken, it has to be paid. So it's again depends on the warranty or this agreement between the service provider and customer will be there. Then there is a maintenance plan. Maintenance planning in the sense it's a kind of, you know, we can say preventive maintenance. Here again, uh, with the term we call it as AMC, or we can say annual maintenance contract. So that is what it what is the maintenance planning. So annual maintenance contract is there, for example, air conditioning or central central air conditioning, or you know any kind of uh, even any, any product or equipment, any lathe machines or anything will have a kind of AMC contract with the service provider, or we can see the manufacturer and sometimes. So what happens? There will be you know work scheduling will be there. So for example, if it is a See if you have a maintenance contract, or a, in case you have a vehicle, you have a maintenance contract, or you can say an annual maintenance is there. Then there will be a kind of work scheduling is there every, you know, every five thousand of kilometer when uh, uh, runs, or every six months is over, whichever comes first. Then this vehicle has to go for an oil change or the servicing. Uh, so this kind of scheduling, anything, for example, this may every six months the or filter has to be cleaned for the air condition so whatever it is so it is a kind of uh, uh, annual maintenance contract it's a we call it as a preventive maintenance so it has to be there the agreement will be between them then uh, these people will take care of these things so then anything happened in between they will attend it so this is a, uh, a work scheduling agreement then another function is a customer interaction center it's some, some the kind of you know help desk where the customer can call a number or send an email or something like that to the customer interaction Center and they will identify there is a requirement coming from the customer or there is an issue from the customer. Then they will re register it. Then they will it will go for the service processing. So there is an interaction center will be there. Then that will be a first con point of contact for the uh, customers. Then there will be a solution database. There is another function. So what happened? Uh, all the issues and uh, uh, the request or requirements as uh, logged in the system or you can say the notification will be there and the orders will be there so the against the notification is an issue then the rule is there we are making a solution for example so and so issue this is the solution you have provided so normally this history is a solution database so next times you know sometimes uh, the call comes no need to send the technician at site from the uh, customer interaction center itself that uh, uh, the interaction assistant or the admin assistant they themselves can you know look at the solution and uh, guide them do one two three so this is the benefit of the solution database and similarly later on you know for the technician who is going to the site he he know this is the you know symptoms or these are the issues they identified then then this is the solution need to be given 
So this is the benefit of solution database. Then obviously there is an information system which will give you the outstanding notification. What is the number of what is the SLA? How you are performed? And how much outstanding? What is it to be built? All kind of information systems also is a part of CS functions. Now these are the different you know different services. Uh, uh, which is provided by customer service or available in CS module in SAP CS module one is help desk So help desk is again a kind of Interaction center where the initial request or requirement comes from the customer is logged So basically it's a notification is created and that details are logged or again There will be you know uh, automation is possible for email comes and it has to be automatically created uh, notification and all those on interaction in additional tools or any automation is there then because if this will happen then it's possible to because notification has you know that's kind of uh, apis or you can say buffies are available to do that one then the next service assembly of technical object this is something like you know installation at site so whenever you know customer buy an equipment or you can see any machines or uh, any you know home appliances or anything then the Service provider, or you can see the person who's selling the company, they will send the technician to there at to the install the items there or assembly at site. So this is also a, you know we call the installation process, so that is also a, a service available. Then there is a dispatch of spare parts. Again, it's a kind of selling of you know materials. So for example, there are spare parts requirements. So sometimes if maybe within the warranty or missing spare parts, then it has to be free of delivery. If as per the contract only or as per the warranty you providing only the Labor charge then the spare parts are chargeable then it's again selling of material. So it's also another service is available So it's a, a direct sale of material sales or it's a it's again as a part of service in the CS Then repairs by field service technician. It is like, you know uh, on-site service so whenever uh, the customer do a logging uh, system for example, you have your air condition has some problem then instead of taking their condition and then going to the site to the service provider location this technician comes to your site and do a repairing so this is this kind of service is called field service technician so technician comes to the site and do the service so that is available then next service available is repairs in the service center so normally you know laptop or mobile and all kind of things what happens if any service is required normally we take it uh, take the items and go to the service provider and give it to them hand it over to them then they will uh, do the inspection and do the servicing there so that is uh, we can say one is the, the first one we can consider as an external service the second one we can consider as an internal service where it is done in in-house or one is where the technician is going to the on-site then there is a regular inspection and preventive maintenance this is again we talk about similar to the amc contract so wherever the amc contract is there there will be a regular inspection and preventive maintenance is happening to the Customer side, so MC contract will be there, and regular interval people will visit, and there will be a term, there will be a schedule, uh, it will be done. Then you know, mostly you will find, you know, this uh, fire, firefighting equipments, and all those things. There will be a sheet, there is a schedule will be dis uh, displayed there. Then every that uh, now and then that where the schedule is there, people will come inspect and do the uh, the required maintenance and uh, update the schedule and all those things. So that is also a function or of a service in the CS module. Now let's look the call management. The call management uh, is the business scenario where the CS comes into the picture. Here again, uh, the call management happens first a call logging. So during a call logging uh, means uh, the customer will call the service provider. Then the call is logged through a service notification. A notification will be created. Then it will go to the call processing so then notification task will be processed or here you know there is three scenario comes the call logging will go to the first one is a hotline call second one will be dispatch of technician then third one is a dispatch of spare parts so here the first one is like you know maybe within the warranty then uh, you need to do a task then you'll do a call completion so there's a technical completion of the order then you will do a billing then uh, the, the, sometimes it may be free of course in, in case which is covered in the warranty then there won't be any cost then second kind of thing is when there is a service notification came then for planning purpose or call processing you create a 
service order okay then this service order will go for a call completion or you can say the execution so execution happens resource consumption time and material resource expenses will be there the uh, for example you have a service order created and against that time sheet will be booked for the people who are going at site so i mean the resource is going at site and you're doing the equipment or whatever the maintenance activities carrying out or servicing activities carrying out that will be recorded as a cost then based on that cost you generate a billing document it is like you know the resource as an expense and will be booked so, and then again it will go to the billing document then that will go to the uh, dispatch of technician will be the technician needs unit external service technician will go to the site and do the things and all the things will be there and another scenario comes you know sometimes the service notification it may be only for a spare part in that comes what happens it will, you will be from the notification you don't need a service order for that you straight away you create a sales order then that sales order will go for a delivery then you will do a billing for that against the delivery or discharging of spare parts so if it is a dispatch of a technician then you do a uh, resource consumption and your times and material and resource expense booking against an order then you do a billing if it is a spare parts then you from the again the call logging or against the service notification you do a sales order then you delivery of material and do a billing document if it is a hotline call and then you don't sometimes you do a notification and an order sometimes only a notification then you do a completion of it then you will send a billing document for that one then these are the maintenance processing uh basically the scenarios different scenarios covers under this maintenance processing there can be uh, unplanned or planned services so for example unplanned means if you have a contract but uh, there is no amc annual maintenance is not there the contract is such a way that as and when any issue comes uh, they will inform you then you go there and do it so in that case you don't have any plan so it is like a you know uh, malfunction request activity so from a customer you will receive a call or, or you know customer call logging will be there there are some issues identified then you create a notification malfunction request activity then you create a notification who when were technical information breakdown and all those things will be logged then you take a request task for workflow then that will be sent to the maintenance planning team so the planning team organization tasks they will create an order then in planning order execution then will do they will assign the resources like which technician has to go there then how long what steps i mean the uh, task different task will be or you can say different operations will be there in the service order then uh, there will be an account assignment where the cost has to go whether it is to be booked for example if it is within the warranty yes obviously it has to be cost to the cost center you have to bear it if it is uh, under a contract after warranty then obviously it will go for an execute it will go for the a billing so it has to be you know condescend to the sales order or service order to the sales order and all then uh, order will be there then order will go for the works execution material withdrawal with the other procurement of resource and tolls in case you need an additional item then you procure it against that uh, order then again there will be purchase cycle will be there then there will be works and the steps will be there then there is a completion is there so from the after order planning it will go to the order uh, uh, workflow to the order a uh, work center execution part then where you will do material withdrawal procurement of resources procurement again it depends so sometimes the service provider has the spare parts and no need if the spare parts are not available then they need to procure it similarly some of the services are not covered for example you need to do a you know ac air conditioning maintenance and uh, there is a, some some kind of painting is required and you don't have that resource to do a painting then you give a subcontract to another provider to do a painting so this is kind of a service you are getting it from a another vendor so that will be there again against this order it will go then after that the order will be do the completion then you do a completion confirmation once you do the completion means it's a confirmation of that activities in the service order so once you all those tasks are completed then you will have a technical completion so this you know uh, technical information breakdown cause object of and all those things will be updated then completion workflow will go for the maintenance history it will be stored then there is another 
uh, track is there from the planned ones. Again, this maintenance processing will happen similar to this. But here, the notifications or this is created, you know, regular based on regular intervals. Based on, for example, in the AMC case, there will be a planned uh, agreement between the customer and the service provider so based on that strategy you know whether it is three month cycle or a single cycle or double cycle you know or depends on the counter you know for example we said uh, the vehicle maintenance it has to be every five thousand so you have a counter reading when the counter reading to that threshold then it will trigger a notification then that is a planned one then based on maintenance strategy and maintenance plan then it will create a notification then it will follow the same thing maintenance planning then works under execution then it will come back to the complete confirmation and technical information and then it will go for the maintenance history information systems so this is a uh, overall look or you can say bird's eye view of the maintenance processing what happens in cs module then there is a process which is we call it as a return and refer so here again you know uh, most of the cases uh, it can happen immediately after delivery during the warranty period Or sometimes, you know, uh, this will be there. For example, if you have the in-house uh, services provider to the companies, so it is most of the cases within within warranty time. You know, customer may return it. So one is they will create a notification. So how the return and repair process follows? They create a service notification based on you know, customer will call you saying that I want to return it. There is a problem. Then the uh, call center, or you can say the help desk, will create a service notification. Then, based on that, it will go to for a planning session. Then, planning session will create a create a repair order. So it will something like a return kind of return order. Then, against that return order, the, you will go and bring the item back. Okay. Then you do a post goods receipt. It means you are receiving the goods back against that order. Then that will be in the unrestricted uh, sales order stock. First, when you're doing the goods receipt, later on you move it to the block stock because it, uh, it should not be used again. Then you go for a technical check, technical check, the inspections, whether it is uh, uh, what is the problem and all this finding. It's a manual process. You have to do the technical check. Then, or you can say feasibility study kind of things. And after that, uh, you say that items can be repairable. Then you generate a service order. Then you do a service processing and maintenance. Then you complete the repairs, repair processing. Then you do send it back the item back to the customer. For example, if after inspection you come to know, know that this is item is totally damaged, it is no more repairable. Then what do you do? You consider as a scrap. So that material what you've taken into stock or a block stock, that will move to scrap. So there is a scrapping process. So that goods will be scrapped. Then a credit memo will be issued to the uh, customer saying that you can, they can buy another item or they can replace it or they will pay pay you back or whatever the company policy or your you know terms and policy accordingly it will be happened and uh, after all these processes what happens in sap they keeps a service history so the service history will be you have usage history then you have change history, then you have condition and performance, you have complete notifications and historical order. So here, usage history means the, the functional locations and the equipment. For example, a like customer, you identify them as a functional location, then you know the different, when you have delivered the material or even when you may deliver the equipment, when it's installed, when this is removed, when you are taking it back, when you return back. So all kind of usage history will be available for the analysis purpose. Then similarly, the change history, for example, customer one, customer two. So the equipment, you know, the movements, the equipment changes, master data changes, uh, all those changes history is also uh, recorded in the system. Similarly, conditions and performance. So here, conditions and performance means you are counter reading. So the temperature reading or your operating hours or your kilometer reading so all this kind of reading will be recorded in the system we call it as a you know measuring point uh, so or measurement reading so measurement reading and measuring point will be created for an equipment and that will be recorded and it will be available as a service history that can be used for further analysis analysis and you can take a decision 
how long the machine will work properly when it is to be scrapped you know these kind of improvements for the purpose it is useful then completed notifications here again we said the solution database right you know you are getting a lot of calls you know and you are logging the calls you are logging the issues and you have to know when it is happened and what is happening then what is the solution for that one then those kind of things can be done then you have completed uh, orders and completed orders you can use it as an historical service also you see for example you have uh, again it's a kind of solution database you know this issue so and so issues happened and so and so solution have done so and so activity has to be done then this historical read you can complete use it as a template to be created for your future orders so that solution it is immediately available so these are the different history available from the service perspective and it can be used it's not for the information and analysis purpose and for the further improvements so these are the you know things which we need to cover it as an overview for a sap cs module so thanks for uh, watching the video so please uh, subscribe to our channel so we will be uploading more videos similar to this and especially in customer service we'll be giving other things you know from a end user perspective how to create it and then also uh, from a consultant perspective how to configure it and all those areas so thanks for watching bye bye